Greetings in the name of the Lord. Dearest friends, our verse for today comes from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 16, verse 15. And he said to them, Go into all the world and proclaim the good news to the whole creation. Dearest friends, today we celebrate the conversion of St. Paul. And the verse we just heard is part of the post pascual command of Jesus to his disciples. We remember at the beginning of his ministry, Jesus gathered for himself the disciples who we are to be with him and who we are to be sent out by him. In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verse 16 to 20, we see the first call of the first four disciples, Andrew and his brother Peter, James and his brother John. And then also in Mark, chapter 2, verse 13 and 14, we see the call of Levi, the tax collector by Jesus. And so on, Jesus called the twelve disciples, and they stayed with him throughout the time of his earthly ministry, to the time of his death. Now, after he has resurrected, he gathered them again. And now, he himself, he knows it is time to send them out. And he said, go into the whole world and proclaim the good news to the whole creation. Go. There is that command or that sense of motion. You have to move. Go. To do what? To proclaim the good news. And now the question is, what is that good news? The good news the disciples we are to proclaim is Christ himself. Christ becomes the good news, having stayed with him and having learned the mission of Christ, the mission of salvation, the freedom from sin, from slavery, and that boldness to stand as a child of God, not to give up. The disciples are now to go and share that good news, which is now a person, the person of Christ with others, not to proclaim themselves. The other is not, go and proclaim what you have learned, or go and proclaim how you feel. It is, go and proclaim the good news. There is content to what they are to proclaim, and that content is Christ himself. And the order is given to every one of the disciples. Dearest friends, we are now those disciples. Christ has chosen us to be his companions and having learned who he is, he now sends us into the whole world for all creation to know about him through us. And what are we going to share to and with others? Christ, not ourselves, not our sentiments, not our glories, not our weaknesses, but Christ himself. Another point I would like us to see in this command is, when Jesus called them, he did not forget that among them stands someone who betrayed him, who denied him, Peter. Among them stand the two disciples who in Gospel of Luke chapter 9 verse 54 would not hesitate to call down fire to destroy a whole nation, a whole city just for them to pass. He knew they still have those personalities, but they are now to use those strengths. They are now to use those energy in a positive way to proclaim Christ. That is the story of St. Paul, whom we celebrate his conversion. When Christ met Paul, then saw. The same energy and the knowledge and strength which Paul was investing in persecuting Christians, Christ now orders him, turn aside, turn around with the same energy for something positive. You are now going to share myself.
to nations that have not known me. There is once Christ calls us to be his disciples, those who will carry the good news, those who will carry Christ himself. Those who will turn around, repentance, metanoia, to turn around. Now, from moving this side to moving the other side in the same energy. But now, instead of bearing hatred, instead of bearing division, instead of bearing confusion and deceit, we are now to be Christ, the right of the world. How are you sharing that good news? Are you still moving to make sure that people who meet you, people who encounter you in this journey of life, they encounter Christ, the joy of our salvation. And may God give us strength to carry out that order, that command, and not to hesitate every day of our lives to see it as Christ giving us that order. Go! and share me because that is what it means go take me to people take my joy and give it to those who you meet amen